bitch. I'm calling because you fucked up my order. I don't want to add to my order. Like, what are you talking about? Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be doing a Bath and Body Work haul. Oh my gosh, you guys. More drama from Bath and Body Works. So, they were having a sale. Um going on for Bath and Body Works with their scented bulbs. Now, as you guys know, I only order online through Bath and Body Works when they're having a sale. So they had this sale and it was $2.95 for each scented bulb. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go to bathandbodyworks.com and look up their scented bulbs. They have these little units that you can plug into the wall and then the scented bulbs screw in there and then the scent is lifted into the air, kind of like a Glade plug-in. Anyway, they were on sale at Bath & Body Works, so I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to order the double packs because the double packs were $5.90. So I'm going to order the double packs. I also had a reward coming in the mail um, where I got a free, I think it was like 16 and 50 cent um, item that I could add to the cart. So I did do that. So I'll show you that first. I got this um, scented bulb you know, little plug-in type situation. This lights up. I thought it was super cute and I thought that it would just go with anything. Um, kind of Victorian, a little isk. I don't know, maybe not. What the heck? But I do have my glasses here so I can look to see price-wise. So yeah, this one was $16.50 and um, it's just the light up one. So it does light up 24-7, which is kind of nice that you have a little night light in there. Okay, so let's get into what I ordered. So the only one that I did not order in a double pack was the Dream Bright. Now this one is a brand new scent by Bath & Body Works. Let me see if I can get a little scent description on here. Probably not. It just says fruity and happy. Um, Let's see. It says sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. So interesting. And I will tell you guys why it is interesting in a second. But let me take this off, um, this little plastic coating on here, because I do want to smell it. Because I was told on the customer service website that it smelled like vanilla. And I'm like, okay. Let's smell it. So I'm going to take this off and smell it right now for you guys for the first time. I mean, it smells like berries to me with a hint of vanilla, but it does have like a raspberry, like a blue raspberry type of with a perfumey note with the vanilla mixed in. It's pleasant. I like it. I mean, there's nothing bad about it. I like it. Um, and it is blue. So I'm definitely going to be using this probably in my bedroom because I don't have um, a plug-in for my bedroom. Now let's get into the double packs. So the double packs look like this. And this is not how it came packaged to me. Everything was thrown in the box. Um, the only um, paper that was in there was this. And as you can see, it's almost... You know, it says that it's supposed to have air in it. Nothing, nothing has air in it. It's a bunch of bullshit. Okay, they really need to work on their packaging, I must say. So I bought these for gifts because a lot of my family members already have the Bath and Body Works, you know, plug-in units or whatever. So they can just use the double pack and it will be beautiful. And I got a whole bunch of different scents. I got a lot of Christmas ones, a lot of winter ones, holiday-esque. So let's pick out the first one. The first one is Tis the Season. Tis what season, bitch? Tis what season? So we've got Busted up the house, busted up the house. Tis the season is busted. 
Um, packaging on here is torn to bits. I don't know how I could present this to anyone as a gift, so I'm going to have to keep it. Um, let's see, tis the season is warm and comforting. It says rich red apples, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. I have had the tis the season three wick candle before and I love it. Um, I do like the packaging on this. Unfortunately, I have said this in the past for Bath and Body Works, what they're going to need to do is package the double packs in cardboard and then maybe have like a plastic film over the front of it, you know, with maybe like the stockings or something like that on there because this plastic, I mean, and it's kind of thicker plastic. It's just not cutting it in the packaging boxes. You guys are not packaging things correctly. So that was tis the season. Let's move on to the next. The next one is evergreen. Evergreen busted the fucking house busted the house. So ever so there's no way that I could give this to somebody as a gift. Like could you imagine waking up on on Christmas morning, going to your relative's house and, you know, Miss Angela, Aunt Angela, um or cousin Angela gives this to you as a gift. This is ratchet the fucking house. So anyway, this one reads I can barely read the scent description. White fir needles, fresh cedar wood, and sweet sap. Yeah, busted the house. Okay. And then the next one is um, let's see, winter. We love a good, we love a good winter. Beautiful packaging only busted the house, you know. So this one is white woods, pine needles, clementine, spiced clove with natural essential oils. Yeah. We're really essential here. Okay. And then I think all the other ones are fine. It was just those three that were busted the house. This one is Twisted Peppermint. Cool Peppermint Sugared Snow Vanilla Buttercream with Essential Oils. And then this one is a favorite of mine, the Gingham. I really, really like this in uh, body care, in, you know, the candle form, and then also now the house um, bulb form here. This is blue freesia, white peach, and fresh clementine. Really like that one. And then we have a bunch of holiday ones. This one is called Holiday. This one is cinnamon stick, Christmas clove buds, nutmeg with natural essential oils. Beautiful packaging. And then this one is Leaves because I do have a family member that loves this fragrance. Red crisp apple, golden nectar, and warm spice, warm clove spice, sorry. And then we have mahogany teak wood, again, for a family member who loves this fragrance. This one is rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. This is the first time that I've heard that lavender is in mahogany teak wood. I had no idea. Excuse the dogs in the background. They've been fighting all day. This one is the perfect Christmas. Fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar toasted marshmallow with essential oils that are natural. And then the last one here, I'm just going to put the box down. Oh, before I put the box down, let me show you. They did have a piece of plastic on the bottom with, with no air in it. Just a piece of plastic. So this one is Winter Candy Apple, and as you guys know, well, oh, actually Winter Candy Apple is Busted the House, Busted the House on Winter Candy Apple. Didn't didn't see that, but yes, it is busted. Um, there must be free-floating plastic somewhere. So Winter Candy Apple is Red Apples, Crisp Pears, Candy Oranges with Natural Essential Oils. So I was pissed off when I got this order and let's talk about it. Let's talk about what I did. So I was like, God, do I call the 800 number again? Do I talk with them again? This is like a never ending thing because if you guys remember, they sent me, oh, hold on a second. I'll show you. Okay. 
So I can't find it now, but I had ordered some three wick candles and I had ordered two, the, the spice gingerbread and the winter candy apple. And the winter candy apple candle uh, came with no label on it. So I was just like, shit, like if I wanted to give this as a gift or if I want to do a candle review or whatever, I'm not going to be able to because there's no label. So I called customer service and they sent me a, f a free, another free winter candy apple um, with the label on it. So that was good. So then I did my shower gel order because they were having the sale on the shower gels. And I had ordered two Inspire Joy. Only got one in the box. So again, I had to call the 800 number. Hello, this is Angela again calling because you fucked up my order. And they sent me another Inspire Joy. Okay, so that was good. Like there's no problem with them correcting the problem. But I had to call again because these were broken. So I just called about these three because these were the ones that were busted the house. So as you can see, like I showed you guys before, they're all fucking busted. So it was so weird this time, though. It was different. It was different than the other times. And I'm going to tell you guys why. So I call up and I get this bumfuck woman. I don't know where she's from. I want to say somewhere down south, not to diss the south. But she sounded like she was fairly new, didn't really know what was going on, was reading from a teleprompter, which is fine, whatever. So she's like, hi, can I have, you know, your order number? Because, you know, at first I had just said I had gotten my order and things are damaged in the box. And she said, okay. And then she wanted to go through like name, address, telephone number, email, gave her all that. And she's like, I'm having some problems trying to find the order. And I'm like, well, I have the order number. So I gave her the order number. And then she's like, okay, I'm seeing it here. She's like, now she's like, which ones did you say were damaged? And I read her the three, the um, evergreen, winter, and tis the season. And she's like, now I can see the evergreen, but I can't see um, winter. She's like, what winter is it? And I'm like, what winter is it? I'm like, I don't know. It just says winter. And then um, she's like, is it winter candy apple? And I'm like, no, nope, just the winter. And I'm like, I have the item number if you need the item number. She's like, no, I can't look it up like that. And I'm like, okay. And so she finally found it. And then she found the other one as well. So she got all three of them. And then all of a sudden, as I'm talking, as like there was silence. There was silence a lot of the time throughout that telephone call. Like lots and lots of silence. Almost to the point where I felt like saying, hello, are you still there type of thing? Which maybe she was new. Maybe she didn't know what was going on or whatever. But then all of a sudden, she's like, have you smelled our dream bright new fragrance? It's got vanilla in it. It's a vanilla scent. Do you like vanilla? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I like vanilla. I'm like, yeah, I included that in my order. I'm like, but I haven't smelled it yet. And I did, you know, order some in body care previously. I'm like, but I haven't used it yet. And she's like, it's got a lot of vanilla in there. So if you like vanilla, honey, you're going to love Dream Bright. And I felt like I was in a commercial, like she was promoting it to me. And I'm like, okay, thank you, you know, whatever. So then all of a sudden, it was towards the end of the of the call. She's like, okay, she's like, I'm, I'm getting this all set for you, you know. And then all of a sudden, she says to me, now, um, which one was leaking? And I'm like, oh, what do you mean? I'm like, it was damaged. And she's like, do you think the cap wasn't screwed on tight enough, hon? And I'm like, mm, maybe. 
I, I'm like, I don't know what, like, I didn't want to come out and say, you know, your box tore, like the product inside was okay, but I cannot give this as a gift. I can't, I can't give it as a gift. And she's like, okay. And then, you know, she's typing away on her computer, whatever. And then this is what floored me. All of a sudden she said, do you like sugar cookie? Do you like that fragrant sugar cookie? And I'm like, oh, you mean the holiday one? Like there's twisted peppermint, there's sugar cookie and all that, like frosted sugar cookie. Yeah, that one, that frosted sugar cookie. She's like, that one's got vanilla in it too. And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty much just vanilla with a sugar cookie fragrance. Well, right now, she said, we have buy three, get three free. And then she reads me the description of frosted sugar cookie or whatever the bum fuck it's called. And I'm like, oh, that's that's great. I'm like, yeah, I'm not really into the frosted sugar cookie. And she's like, are you sure? She's like, because you said you like vanilla and this is loaded with vanilla and it's buy three, get three free. So how much would you like? Which ones would you like? And I'm like, oh, what do, what do you mean? And she's like, well, which ones would you like for me to piggyback on to this new order for you? She's like, because we have the fine fragrance mist, the shower gel, and the body lotion, the, the triple moisture body cream, which is great for the winter in Wisconsin. And I'm like, no, I'm like, I can get these for $5 when they go on sale, which is cheaper than the buy three, get three free. And she's like, oh, okay, so you're not going to be ordering with us today? And I'm like, bitch, I'm calling because you fucked up my order. I don't want to add to my order. Like, what are you talking about? So have you guys had to call the 800 number for Bath & Body Works if they fucked up your order and then they try to sell you more product? Because I was just like, what is happening? Like, literally what is going on. So I'm going to get this new stuff. I'll do another haul when I get it and hopefully it won't be damaged, but I don't know you guys. It was crazy. I hope you guys have a great day though. Um, thank you so much for joining my haul. I'll do more, you know, products in the future and have a great day everyone. Bye-bye.